Hey guys, welcome to B&B Farms Maple. If this is your first trip to our channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for dropping by again. Uh, today we are down at the lumber yard, and that can only mean one thing. We're going to build a new project. Uh, we had a recent video we posted where we built a vacuum pump shed for our maple syrup operation. Well, this build will, will kind of follow along in that, use a lot of the same construction techniques. Only this time, we're going to build an elevated hunting blind. Uh, it should be, oh, 10 feet off the ground to the, to the floor of it when it's all finished, if things go as planned. Always a big if. Uh, again, it will be board and batten siding, same type of construction we've used in the past. I don't think we'll film every step of the process. Uh, what we will do is we'll, we'll post some, some short clips of where the construction process deviated from that last video, and, and there will be a few of those. So follow along with us, and uh, let's see how this build turns out. Let's get into it. So there is the completed framework for the, the blind itself. It's on a 54-inch base, which is going to give me 47 inches, roughly, uh, clear span on the inside. Uh, framed it up out of 2x4s. It is 72 inches tall. One difference you'll notice is that yeah, it's flat on top. I did not build a slope into it because we have a removable roof section that has the, the pitch already built into that. Uh, again, this is going to be setting up on, oh, probably nine, ten foot tall supports. So my thought was if I go ahead and, and build the roof in one piece, I can just set it up top there and not have to worry about climbing a ladder and being on top while I put the tin on. So hopefully that'll work out like I think it will. Uh, the windows, there are, you can see there, there are two, one on each side. This will be the primary shooting window here. Um, size, it's gonna take a 14 by 35 inch piece of glass. I have to build these windows. You can buy windows for these deer blinds, but I, I've got an idea how to make my own. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Three quarter inch plywood on the base, two by eights as a support for the base. So yeah, what's next? Uh, we gotta put some metal on this roof. Then we have to go prep the area where this is gonna stand. And then, yeah, then we have to get this up on its supports. Again, nine or 10 foot tall. So bear with us and we'll see how much we can get done today. Check it out, a razor sharp slinky. Yeah, if you're anybody younger watching this, may have to Google that. And I really should be wearing gloves.
So we've got our base back in the woods at the location where we're going to set this stand up. It's gonna be kind of right there in that area. You saw me mow it and kind of back drag it a little bit to clear it off. We've got three of the four brackets mounted to the base that are gonna hold the post. And I will show you what we're gonna use for post over here. Uh, these are actually four by fours or three and a half by three and a half. I wanted something treated. So we milled these out of utility poles or, or telephone poles or power poles, whatever you prefer. And, uh, you know, they're treated. They ought to last a good long while. We've got another video either coming out or out already, depending on when you see this one, where we mill those posts. So uh, be sure and check that out if you're interested in that kind of thing. Here are the brackets, a close-up of what we're using. These are elevator brackets. They have an eight degree compound angle. Uh, and we are gonna mill these or actually cut these four befores to length right there. So let's get that done. I'll show you how these brackets go on. Again, we're using these elevator brackets. This go right in the corners, all right, like that. Slide it all the way up. We're going to pre-drill pre a couple holes. One there and one diagonal from it. And then we will put some lag screws in it using these 5 16 by 2 inch lag screws. put all six screws in and we'll be ready to go. Well, there it is. All of the uh, construction bracing is in place. Obviously, it's upside down. Uh, that's our next big move. You know, there's been a, a couple of steps that I have been dreading since before I even began this build. And this is going to be one of them. We've got to lay that down on its side, slide it into what we think its proper position will be once it's standing up. And then we have to figure out how we're going to stand it up. Uh, of those two much dreaded steps, that is probably the least dreaded one. After we get it stood up, um, I need to reassemble the hunting blind up on top of that platform, 10 feet in the air. But hey, one step at a time. Let's see if we can get this into position and get it stood up. Here we go. So the plan right now, uh, you can see we've driven some rebar 
to act as a stop on these on these two two legs so that rather than have the the platform slide we hope it'll catch that rebar and just try to stand up we've got the tractor with the forks on underneath it and i guess we're just going to try lifting a little kind of get a feel for how it acts and where we need to go from there so yeah here we go As it turns out, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we've got it standing upright. Now we just need to level it and at least get one anchor in the center. Hopefully we can get through this ground. A lot of tree roots down there. So I've got the anchor or the tie down in place. Uh, I've just got one right there in the middle running down to a 40 inch anchor. That's that red part you see sticking out of the ground there. I've run it down all I can. So there's, there's quite a bit of it down there in the ground. Uh, I've got a turnbuckle and again, some quarter inch cable all the way up underneath. Uh, my original plan was to put a tie down on each leg, and I still may do that uh, just to be, you know, absolutely sure this platform doesn't go anywhere. But I got to say, it is rock solid right now. I'm very pleased with it. And I think that's going to wrap 
wrap this video up for the at least the first part. We still have to get the blind set up on the platform. That'll be in part two and get our siding cut. Get it all sealed in weather tight. But for now, we're going to wrap it up. Please remember to come back and check with us if you want to see how this build turns out. And also, hey, how about giving us a like and a share with your friends and maybe even subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And uh, we are trying to grow the channel. We'd very much appreciate it. And if you could leave us a comment below, that'd be awesome too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.